It's ADSN's Gridiron Analysis, going inside the locker room and inside the numbers. This week, the Panthers versus the Saints. Well, I think one of the biggest things is, is, is you, know, you, you can't put yourself in a hole early, which is what we've done a couple of times. And, you know, and, and once you get into that situation, those circumstances, it's, t- you know, it's tough to dig yourself out of it. And so we, we've got to be very aware of that. You can't turn the ball over early either. That's probably one of the bigger things that we've got to handle better. I think he's spot on, Kevin. I think the, the real key for him is being able to make sure that this offense wins on first and second down, meaning that they get some positivity on those two downs, whether it's run or pass. But I think they've been in their best balance and offensive balance where they have had a lot of rushing attempts to balance out the number of attempts that Kyle Allen has to make. But you've got to also provide other means to get positive yards, whether it's with Greg Olson, whether it's Samuel, whether it's outside with DJ Moore, early in downs to set them up for success on third down. I think the thing with Kyle that I've noticed is when he's in a rhythm, it's hard to stop him. And that's most quarterbacks. From a young quarterback perspective, they can sometimes go on the tank, and he's done that at times, in particular throwing four interceptions or the fumbles that he's left down on the ground. You can't have those things. But I think the one thing this offense has to do, and North knows this as well, I got to get him in the rhythm early, and I got to keep him in that rhythm, and not let him uh, fall back and think too much and get in his head, get in his own head, so to speak. I know sometimes some of it is is on on how we want to rig the protection where we involve the back, we involve the tight end, we turn the line one way or the other, we ID a guy as as this is our starting point, those types of things. Um, you know, do we run deep routes? We run shallow routes, or is it three step, five step? You know, what's the timing and getting the ball out of his hands? All those things play into it. And those are all things that Norb has to think about as he's you know as he's game planning, he's designing how we want to do things. It it is, and it, it has changed things. You know, but when you have a young guy, a new guy, you got to make sure he understands. You know that hey, the reason why we're calling this protection this way is because we want to get the ball out of your hand quickly. The reason why we're calling this protection this way is because we want you to be able to hold the ball and throw the ball downfield. Those are all things that he has to make sure he understands because you don't want him to, you know, take a five-step drop when he should be throwing the ball now. You have an offensive line where you're moving parts around and they're not able to stay consistent. Taylor moves to both times. Uh, in a situation where he's got to be replaced by Darrell Williams is not good. You've got Greg Little, who has been out on the concussion protocol at the other tackle position, kind of working through because Dennis Bailey is out. Those are the kind of things that you have to say, okay, what do we do with Greg Olson, who I know likes to get out in routes, but he stand and chip a little bit to make sure we slow down the rush of the Saints. That's the one way you're going to have to help this O-line. And then also quick hitters. To get him out of just that one stationary position where the defensive line knows where he's at. Well, the keys for the Panthers, they've got to stop Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas. You know Drew Brees is going to come back. He had not played well over the last few weeks because he's been rusty. I would say the Panthers are going to, will be down. The Saints win this 30-23. to 23.